What's happening in the world of personal finance this week? All right, here's what we're going to cover this week. First, uh, comments and questions from viewers from last week. Second, what's up with unemployment? Okay, so I'll give you an update on which states and it uh, looks like uh, the amount is pretty well capped. So we'll talk about that. Third, what's going on with the stimulus talks and the state of the economy? And fourth, what can you do? What else can you do from home? So stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you the top 25 gig opportunities All right, in the United States. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. I'm not drinking Nespresso because it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I do have some cold brew. Mm. I snuck out and uh, got some Starbucks cold brew. I love it. Let's get into this. Okay, number one, questions and comments from viewers from last week's video. All right, let's look at it. Okay, first we have uh, someone responding about South Dakota. I made a comment that they don't want to work with Trump, but in fact, she's saying they just didn't feel they needed it, and South Dakota is a Trump state. All right, I stand corrected. Sam says he is a yes on 22 uh, person. He would like to remain an independent contractor in California, um, basically at the behest of Uber and Lyft. Then we've got the Rideshare Observer who says Prop 22 must fail. These companies just cannot be trusted. So uh, what side of that do you all fall on? <laughs> As you can see, we got both sides here and I'm not going to weigh in because who knows, you know, uh, my, my, my basic concern is that if Prop 22 passes, then we are going to have to do whatever it is that Uber and Lyft ask us to do. And uh, and over the last four years, what I've seen is they keep cutting my pay and there will be nothing to stop them from continuing to cut my pay. Uh, as an independent contractor under Proposition 22. So something to think about, but uh, it's interesting that uh, viewers are, are, are split on that. And then at the bottom we see uh, 300 coming and only for three weeks. That is not even enough to cover rent in most places. All right, so it does seem like the, uh, the maximum that we're gonna get uh, if you're in a state that has applied and been approved, is three weeks at $300 a week, unless you're in one of the rare states that's going to kick in the extra $100. So $900, that's it uh, for most for most of us, and we really don't know when that's going to go into effect. All right, some more comments here. Uh, uh, Mo, I don't think you got the Pelosi part right. She's not holding up everything. She wants to continue $600 a week while your buddies uh, want to eliminate it or reduce it to 200 or 300. Okay, Mo, I think, uh, I think you put me on the wrong side of this battle. I love Nancy Pelosi, and uh, I think she is fighting the good fight, and her strategy is to get 600 a week, so I completely agree with you. Um, I'm worried about the perception, though, that she's holding things up, but I think she's playing the long game, and I think in the end it'll work, and let's hope it works because then we'll all get $600 to the end of the year, right? $600 a week till the end of the year. That would be sweet given the state of the economy and the unlikely uh, possibility that things are going to return to normal before that time. Uh, okay, Mystery Moji Films. Didn't get approved for EIDL because of my credit score. Sorry about that. Um, how long did it take them to approve the loan? I applied. So in my case... Um, um, I applied for the grant many, many, many months ago, and then just recently, I, I got, you know, I had received an email back then saying to complete my application. So I did recently, about three weeks ago, and within uh, two days, they sent me an email saying it was approved, and then the funding um, hit my bank account about five days later. So it was pretty quick. It was pretty quick. Um, and then the last comment comes from Gondola. Uh, 
It says California update. FEMA has approved California's application as has funded at $300. This will start in a few weeks. All right. So uh, we'll see about that. And I'll talk more about that in just a second. So thank you all for your comments. I really uh, it's great to um, get feedback and questions. And I'll do this every single week so that we can just keep addressing any questions that come up. Number two, status of unemployment. All right. This is at the top of the list for most people in terms of financial concern, because there's like so many millions of people who are not working and we're counting on that six hundred dollars a week. And that has stopped. So as you see the, he the headline here from uh, uh, Make It, which is a CNBC. Uh, it's been a month since the extra six hundred dollars per week and enhanced unemployment benefits expired. Here's where things stand now. And then they say the majority of states, 34, have applied to and been approved by the FEMA to pay out the 300 weekly federal subsidy. So the states are Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Georgia, Idaho, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, New Hampshire, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, and West Virginia. And more are expected to be approved in the coming days. South Dakota, as we've mentioned already, is the lone state to decline. So far, Arizona, Louisiana, Missouri, Tennessee, and Texas are the first states to start actually paying out the 300 weekly boost. So if you're in Arizona, Louisiana, Missouri, Tennessee, or Texas, uh, put, a, put a comment down and let us know if you have gotten your weekly boost, um, though not without some headaches for recipients and administrators. Uh, many states will begin paying out the benefits for the three weeks ending August 1st through August 15th in the coming days and weeks. Uh, Kentucky and Montana will also offer an additional 100 per week on top of the 300 from the federal government and the standard state payment. So in my, in my situation, um, I, I certify tomorrow for the last two weeks, which would normally pay me $900. So we'll see. I think it's still a little bit early. I don't think they're going to tack on the extra $900 um, yet. But uh, here, here's hoping, and I'll let you know next week uh, what, what showed up in my bank account. All right, number three, stimulus update. It's not looking good, all right, from that same article. It's been four weeks, one month, since the extra 600 per week enhanced unemployment benefits expired, and Congress has yet to reach a deal on the next package. It could be weeks until the measure is passed. The Senate recessed on August 13th without reaching a deal, and members aren't scheduled to be back in Washington until after Labor Day. That's over another week away. In the meantime, catch this. 27 million Americans still claim jobless benefits each week as the coronavirus recession rages on. More than a million new claims have been filed 22 of the past 23 weeks. Wow. Tens of millions of Americans are going hungry and face the looming threat of eviction. And an estimated 34 million households could have their utilities shut off by the end of September. It's getting pretty dire. Remember, I used to show us a picture of a cliff. Well, the, we are off the cliff and we are falling towards the hard ground. And in Forbes, you see a stimulus update. No progress today, despite call between Pelosi and the White House. It's a nice image of two people pulling on the rope. Yep. All right, number four, make money being a 10K VA. Well, what the heck does that mean? Um, 10K VA. So this is a course you can sign up for to learn how to be a virtual assistant uh, uh, where they're going to teach you the, the, the strategies to make 10K per month, right? And the link for this uh, program is, a, is below, in, in, uh, below the video, okay? So I've used the VA. So VA stands for virtual assistants, assistant. So if you have any kind of computer skills, you're good at looking things up, you can take simple instructions. Um, um, I have a VA. He works. He's in India, and uh, he's been able. He, when I was doing the podcasts, he was able to take my podcast and upload them and make sure they were on uh, YouTube and on my Facebook and on my Twitter, right? So I didn't have to deal with any of that. He took care of all that for me, 
He's also really good with LinkedIn promotions, with organic uh, advertising, organic um, promotions. So those are his specialties. So I started to think, well, what are other, other gig uh, kind of jobs out there that people who used to drive, who aren't driving, or who are looking for a plan B could pursue? So I found this killer article, um, Millennial Money put this out, and it's the list of 25 best gig economy jobs. So software programming. So that, that's a heavy lift. That's a lot of uh, learning, right? That's like learning how to write. Um, online marketing and PR. This one I can highly recommend. If you can become good at like Facebook advertising and you can start to take on clients, there are a ton of people that don't have a clue about how to make money um, running Facebook ads. So that's a, that's a great one. Delivery driving, well, obviously. Renting out your space. Last week I shared about neighbor. Rideshare driving, there's all of us, right? Um, video and multimedia editing, okay? Accounting, home improvement jobs, get on TaskRabbit. Occupational therapies, hairdressing, sewing, freelance writer, okay? Um, graphic designer, dog walking, proofreading, pet sitting, bellhop, virtual assistant, okay, there's virtual assistant. Independent contracting, host, babysitting, drop shipping, coaching. So this is what I've been doing. This is my plan B, which is now my plan A. I actually coach coaches on how to generate uh, clients, high ticket clients. So um, coaching is a hot market, especially now, because so many people are suffering from stress and anxiety and financial challenges. So if you have an expertise in any of those areas, then you can become a coach and people will hire you and they'll pay a lot of money uh, for you to help them get out of the painful situation they're in uh, to the place that they want to go. So coaching, and then finally software testing and affiliate marketer, all right? So there's some things for you to think about, okay? Um, that Again, more options for you, and if uh, any of those sound interesting to you, get on your computer, Google it, uh, freelancer, and then whatever it is, and see what there is to find out. And if you want to be a virtual assistant, um, click on the link below and uh, check out that course. All right. So that's a small price to pay to be able to start making some real decent money from the comfort of your home. All right. Key takeaways. Uh, some of you asked about the status of my loan. Yes, I got approved. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, the money did go into my bank account. Definitely um, keep thinking outside the box. All right, I shared with you 25 gig opportunities, which are really great, which people need, which, which uh, people are paying good money. If you can uh, uh, do a little homework, uh, do a little learning, uh, become proficient, develop a skill set, uh, people will pay you some really good money. And uh, that's another option that you have since many of us are at home. Um, use this time, use this time. It's valuable time uh, with little distractions, right? I mean, I used to work 50 to 60 hours driving all that extra time i'm here right here you know and uh and and it's a great opportunity all right hey thanks for watching the video this is jay crater if you liked it please give it a thumbs up go ahead and share it if you think somebody else might have an interest in what we're talking about here um, subscribe to our youtube channel and definitely click on notifications so the next time we do a youtube live you're going to know about it all right y'all go ahead and have a great day be safe out there bye bye